Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove the navigation bar. So in case you do not know what the navigation bar is, it's simply this area right down here that has the menu option, home button, and back button. Now these are capacitive buttons, meaning they are built into the display. And you can actually turn these or switch these around. Now to remove them, although they have been long-standing features within the Android um, system, um, you can now remove them in the latest update. To do this, you can do it on the Galaxy S10 as I'm using right now. This is the Galaxy S10. It can also work on any um, other than S10. It can also work on any Samsung Galaxy S9, S8. As long as it's running Android um, 9 or Android Pie. Alright, so in order to do this guys, simply slide down from the top of the screen. So you're just going to bring down the menu from up here. Once you do that, let's go down again. Once you do that, you can actually go over to the other here over here and you'll see navigation right here. And of course, it's set to on. You're just going to turn this off. All right. So once you turn that off, it should go to white from blue. All right. So basically now swipe back up and check this out, guys. It says here swipe up and hold to open device assistant app. All right. So device assistant app would be the new um feature here so in order to use it so for example if i wanted to go home which is usually the middle option right here simply swipe up so the buttons are still there it's just that they have now been reduced to a swipe and it makes the display much cleaner all right so for example if i wanted to bring up the menu i simply swipe up and if you check out here you'll notice that swiping up brings up the menu and again swiping the mid one minimizes the menu and of course the back button is right here so simply swipe up and you go back and that's as simple as it gets guys so that has been how to um how to remove a navigation bar the samsung galaxy s9 s8 and s10 running the updated android 9 or android pilot so you gotta go on the same button next time bye